Hello coders, welcome back to Coding Casually and today's topic is how we can make a simple Flask API which will give us the results. So today what we will be making is an API through which we will get to know how many cases are there or were there in a country when it comes to COVID, how many people who did not make it and how many people who got recovered. So this is a postman through which uh, what we will do is we'll give it the address of our API and of course it will be a get method and we'll send the request. We'll get to know about the results and these are the results which will be provided to us in a JSON format. Now let's see how we made it. So coders, I have opened Visual Studio Code. It's a free application. It's a it's available on the Microsoft site. The link to this application or the ID is in the description below. Or what we can now what we'll do is we'll make the Flask API. Of course, it's a simple one, so don't uh, expect any fancy results. So what we'll do is in order to make that, we'll make a Flask application first. So what we'll do is if you don't have Flask installed in your system, you can simply go through the method of installing it through pip. If you want to know how do you do that, the suggestion box tells you, which is there on the video. And after you've installed Flask, what we can do is we can start writing some code, which states from Flask, we will import Flask no doubt and what we'll do is we will also import jsonify plus we will also import request okay and now what our job is is to make an app called app of course we as I said there will be no fancy stuff and we'll be providing the parameter of name and then what we'll be doing is we'll be making it to the final cut of stating if underscore underscore name equals to underscore underscore main and if the answer is yes then we would like it to run so now our app is ready but we still have to give it some parameters plus the ad address of the API so what we'll do is we'll write at the rate app dot route and we want the route to be on the info page and then our method will be get so this this api would only accept a get method so we'll write get and then we'll write a function so a function could be the name of the function could be anything but for me it will be find information sorry information and what we'll do is we'll fetch the name of the country through request dot args which is arguments dot get and what we're looking for is c o u n t r y country nothing much and then we'll do a simple return statement by saying try of course try and return jsonify and then then what we can do is we can open up a dictionary because jsonify works best with dictionary but of course if you don't want to make a dictionary you can make a list and that would also be returned so what we'll do is total cases and then for this answer what I'll do is I've already made a scraper for the website through which I'll be able to import the uh, result this is my scraper uh, code if you want to know about it the description panel has the code for the same it's we are just hopping onto the website called worldometer and that has the name of the can and that has the information for the specific country and now just because we have made it on uh, beautiful soup and we also need to check whether the name of the country is right or not so we are also importing requests to check the response code once you have this uh, result with you what you can do is you can simply go into the method the one that you have created this one and then you can start writing find info 
and the name of the country and then you can do zero similarly what you can do is uh, for total deaths you can write um, you can write what you can write okay this won't this will be here you can write find info country and then one and similarly what you can what you can do is you can simply copy this and then paste it instead of one you'll write two and you'll write recovered and if you don't have results what you can do is you can return a statement of course again I just and if I open the bracket open the dictionary no country found and then give it a blank parameter okay so now what's gonna happen is you made a flask application through which what's happening is that we are trying to fetch the name of the country that the person is telling us and then we are using the same name to open up this uh, uh, this function which will do the scraping for us and the moment the scraping is done will give you the results back so if, if something happens in the scraping so that means th the name of the country was wrong or something happened bad and then the results won't happen so now we'll be running this uh, what we can do is we can simply press run and debug and then let's see whether it works or not i'm running this now and let it pick up we'll get we'll get an address there is a syntax error that we have got. Let's see where the syntax error is. Mm. The syntax error is uh, here. We forgot one equals to mark, and then let's run it. And we'll wait it to run. And I believe it has started working yes it is we are getting that address so what we'll do is instead of uh, russia here we'll try india i will give it a go and i hope the results came in it, it has sent a request and it has given us the result so instead of india what we can do is if we can suggest the name of another country let's see whether it accepts new zealand and so of course i must have misspelled it instead of this let's go with iceland iceland is the name of the country for sure and let's see we have answer for iceland or not yes we do so of course i made a mistake in the spelling of new zealand and that is the only reason i did not get it or there's a good possibility that that website doesn't have the data for new zealand so what we can do is if you want to try a new country you can give it a name but let us try why we are not getting New Zealand so there's a good possibility that it should work but if it is not working we have to check whether we have that data in that website or not okay and let's see if we have that data or not we don't have that data no worries let's try a different country altogether and let's see whether we have the results for that or not so we are trying for iraq and we do have the results so this is how our this is how things work so probably there's a good uh, chance that we have missed it up on the tags but you can fix that and this is how you make a simple api in flask